Come with me as we unbox the uh, PulseCon 2023 Transformers Armada Powered Lynx Hotshot with Jolt. Pretty excited. Let's go. Yeah, so this is the PulseCon 2023 exclusive uh, Hotshot with Jolt. Uh, I was very excited for this set ever since they got they shown off that like the breakfast preview about a month ago. I was pretty excited for this because I love Hotshot. I love Armada, and we finally get the Minicon Jolt, which is awesome, so I can put him with my actual uh, normal Hotshot. But yeah, this is the box here. It's got the got Hotshot right there with Jolt, and that is Armada Thrust up there. Apparently, we're not getting Armada Thrust. People ask, and it was just a little fun thing they threw up there. We're not getting Thrust as of now. Um, Evolution logo up there. The original Transformers Armada logo up there. It's also big over here which I appreciate, I love that. I grew up with Armada. So this set is very exciting for me. On the bottom, it's kind of whatever. In the back it shows Jolt. It comes with some more uh, effect pieces. And then the two guns that he has with in the original show. And then that's the car mode. Obviously it looks like Hot Rod because the original was supposed to be Hot Rod, but no longer Hot Rod. And there's Jolt being held and then with the able to do put the put the visor down and the, the big cannon on the back. Well yeah let's uh, let's get this boy open like like I said this is a this is a uh, a set I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Probably about a month or so I guess when it got for like so first got announced or they do that like breakfast preview or something they do. Something like that. Excited to see like. And he is backwards. Oh, okay. There's that. There's the instruction booklet. Pa Powerlink Hotshot with Universe Jolt. Armada Universe Jolt. That's really cool. Little leaflet. Nothing left in the box. So this is how he comes. Just out of the box. Can we go, yeah, look at that. I don't think there's any twist ties with this release. Doesn't seem like it. Because Hadrop's been really weird about not doing twist ties and then blue twist ties. But that's pretty okay. So there's a hot shot right there. And out of the box, that red looks really good. Those blue eyes look really good. He is nice. So far, no loose joints on him that I can tell. I say that right now. But there's Hot Shot. And then this must be everything else. So this has to be a Jolt, the weapon, the effect parts, everything like that. So let's get this open. I do, do not like this current style of packaging. I feel it's very just annoying to get into sometimes, but... It's like I'm wrapping Christmas presents though, so that's not bad. Let's see what I'm talking about, it just kind of goes forever. Oh yeah. Cool. There's Jolt. His engine. Weapon. It's all painted black. One of the guns. That looks pretty cool. And we're still digging through here. Effect pieces, which I don't mind. I like these actually. They're good for photography. They're a nice little addition. They make stuff look cool. The other gun. So that probably folds. Hey, look at that. Nice. This, yeah, again, this is the thing. Like, I have to like dig through this make sure I have everything. But let me clean up and then we'll get back to uh, everybody else. Now that I have everything out of the box, let's see what everything that comes in the box. Um, so he does get the two rifles that he uses at the end of Armada when he's fighting Megatron or uh, Unicron. So these have little pegs, they pop out like that. That's awesome. Again, a little one like that. They are able to uh, be stored on his robot mode. So there's a little peg right there and there's a little cutout right there. 
I believe. Yeah. So there's that. So there's a little groove right in the back of there. And they are able to adjust, I believe. Yeah, just like that. Cool. They don't stay very well. I was messing around with my other one, the other one. And they don't seem to stay very well, but you are able to, you know, throw them back there if you want to. I couldn't get it. Uh, just very, it's very, like, a, I don't think it's supposed to be an actual proper uh, port they made in there. I think it's just they had it available. So they put it in there. Um, that's one thing on this copy is the visor on his head is very loose. It just keeps plopping down, which is fine. So there's that. He also, yeah, so there's the two rifles. And then it comes with the, what, six blast effect parts, the two cones, the two bigger uh, explosions, and then, like, the laser fire got two of those and of course why most people probably bought this set is for the minicon jolt i bought this set specifically for jolt uh just because i wanted him to go with my normal armada legacy armada hotshot because you need to have both of them together uh i hope hasbro doesn't do the thing where they're going to give us like galvatron later a repaint of the armada megatron with leader one i they probably are. That's probably how they're going to distribute the Minicons that way. But I'm probably going to get them just because I love Armada. I love Armada and I want a bigger shelf of uh, Legacy Armada stuff. But uh, yeah, let's play with Jolt for a second. Um, it's actually really good. It literally does look like Jolt. Looks like the original Jolt. It does have a little thing right there. That's awesome. And I'm assuming transformation on this dude is going to be very simple. Very simple. So that's probably how you do it. Uh, oh yeah, that's how you do the later in um, the combined mode. But like, how hard can this be? It's a minicon, right? That probably folds down, right? Right there. In fact, that probably goes right. Yeah, there we go. I was like, he's a mini kind of hard to be. But yeah, no, that's that's the little jolt. That looks great. That looks really good. I'm surprised, yeah. Yeah, there is comparison to uh him and Hotshot together, him and the other thing, the other hotshot together. That looks really cool. And then of course he does come with the other blaster, like the engine piece. He's just holding it. But yeah, that's hotshot and uh jolt right there. That looks really cool. Uh, let's do a quick comparison because I brought him out. I want to look at them. Uh, so here's the uh, power up to hot shot, the Hascon one, and this is the normal release one. He's holding the Star Saber from Armada Starscream. But everything that's they're just inverted colors, it looks like. Um, the head sculpts are different. The, the normal hot shot has like this like stoic kind of thing, and this one has more of an aggressive, more like G2 sideswipe kind of look. But that's the comparisons. There's the back right there. That's still black. Yeah, everything, they're just inverted colors. Which is fine. That works great for me. Um, he still is able to do... Yeah, like I said, the visor just popped down. He's able to, you know, do everything normal hotshot is able to do. But let's give him his guns and see what that looks like. Like I said, that just pops out. But let's get this guy armored up for a second and we'll check out that. Perfect. Now we have Hotshot just armored up. Um, like I said, I could put some blast ports and stuff on here. His, what I've noticed is he can't really hold the guns very well up, especially this one. I don't know. Oh, no, no of course now it does now. But when I was trying to like get it straight, it couldn't really uh, hold up well enough. But again, now apparently it can. <laughs> uh, I got the, the tire cannon over there. I got the visor down. Jolt does have a uh, port on the back of him, so he's able to plug into the 5mm ports around him. So I have him like that, which I think that looks really cool. Um, this is pretty much how I'm going to display him anyway, because he's supposed to be in like this tanky kind of battle mode anyway. So I like that, but like I said, this Jolt's going to be with uh, the normal Armada hotshot anyway. So that's it really about like that robot mode and everything. 
It's really fun, really cool. Like I said, he's just inverted hotshot, armored up like a G2 side type. So let's just talk about hotshot in his car mode. Again, very hot rod because he's supposed to be hot rod, and I love that. The flame is really actually pretty cool. I love the, for some reason, I really love the gold headlights a lot. I think that's really, really cool. Um, he's all red. This part up here is a painted red, and it's, I don't know if it's coming on camera, but you can tell, like, that's a matte, and that's more of, like, a finish. Um, that's fine with me. All of this ends up on the back of his leg anyway, so that doesn't really bother me. Um, one thing I did notice, though, is these on the box are painted, and they're not on here. I was kind of hoping they would be painted because it was a, you know, a convention exclusive, so I figure, eh, I'll put a little bit more work into it. But, uh, yeah, that ain't bad. Like I, said, I love the black engine up here. I have Jolt up here. He literally just folds, so he plops off like this. And then all you do is uh, put him up like that. There's this little thing, and then, like I said, you just plop him right back down here. Goes into his little minicon mode, and then, like I said, minicon port right there. He plugs in. And I think that looks really cool, actually. Really good. This car mode is really blowing me away, actually. Might keep him in the car mode just because I like the red and everything else like that. Like I said, he's able to do that. His guns, the extra guns, can plug into uh, here, it looks like. Yeah. Now, that's not a bad look either. Just because, like I said, I don't mind him being gunned out because he's supposed to be, like, in the middle of fighting Unicron and Sideways and everybody else and Thrust and everybody else before he dies. But that's really good. That's really good. No, super impressed with that. That was really nice. But uh, let's get him back in his robot mode and talk about some final thoughts with him. So overall, I'm rather enjoying this set. There's a couple QC issues that I've noticed, kind of loose joints and whatever. But overall, I'm really happy with this set. Um, Jolt, I think, again, Jolt was the main factor in this because I wanted to have a complete, a complete generations like proper Armada shelf, and this really helps. I think this is a really cool deco. Unfortunately, like if you're not super into Armada, I feel like you're gonna skip this, and the people have already bought it, have already bought it for its purposes. I've already seen a lot of these hot shots on the market, like after, because people are just buying it for straight up jolt but overall like i said i enjoy it again i love armada so i think it's really cool to me but uh let me know what you guys think um if anybody's getting it if you did get it do you like it but uh thanks for watching my little first impressions on this dude and i appreciate it and uh if you like it subscribe I'm trying to do more stuff recently so that's pretty cool but uh, until next time guys uh thank you for watching